guys, it's you girl Coco Bombs back at it again with another video. Welcome to my channel. Yeah. I'm in a good mood. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below Barb's Game so I know is real <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms without further ado let's get into this video okay you guys let's get into this video first we're going to use the concealer in shade 11 by juvia's place i love this concealer it's very moisturizing to the skin yes it is y'all <laughs> The funny thing about it is I literally sing everything I say. Like, it don't matter if you say bounce, I'ma come. Bounce it, 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 shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, okay, I'ma calm down, I'ma calm down. Cause at this point, we need to take a chill pill. So we're gonna go in with a neutral color in this morphe palette this palette is boss mood 35m that's what the palette is called and we're going to take these two color well really mainly this color we're going to take this color it's called play it cool that's all you need to do girl you need to play it cool out in these streets we're taking this fluffy brush and we're just going to blend this So I'm finished blending this in. Now I'm going to use a shade out of, bam, the Zulu uh, palette by Juvia's Place. I'm using my favorite shade, okay? And it's this brown one right here, baby. It is this brown one right here. They did their thing making this shade because baby girl, I use this for eyeshadow. I use this for bronzer. I use it for everything, okay? So we're gonna take that shade and just add some dimension. And I'm going like, I'm not doing it too dark. I don't want this look to be dramatic. We're just saying that we did what we came to do, okay? We're just doing what we come to do. This shade is the bomb, okay? And then I'm just patting that in really right here. Going back in with this fluffy brush and just buffing this out. No harsh lines, baby. We're giving you skin. We're giving you glam. We're giving you neutral. I'm just gonna use this H2O waterproof eyeliner by Wet n Wow. Okay, so I did my eyeliner and my lashes. Um, so let's get into the face, baby girl. I am going in with some concealer first. I saw, I actually saw this method um, on TikTok and I was just like, I want to try it. So we're going to try it this time. This is the exact method that I did use and it came out wonderful, girls, wonderful. So I'm just going in with this concealer. This concealer is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in shade medium beige. This is really, really light. And I'm gonna warn y'all, we're gonna look crazy until we look good, okay? So just have faith in the process and you'll be okay. So we're just gonna put concealer on as we normally would. And we're gonna blend that out. Y'all know I always spray my beauty blender with the Mario Badesco rose water spray and I'm just gonna blend this out now this concealer is hard to move so I'm gonna go in with this brush and then move it around and then go in with the beauty blender 
Okay, you guys, so this is a problem that I'm run running into. Um, the concealer is not really moving how I want it to move. Baby girl, this is full wear matte, full fledged concealer. Okay, you, this is perfect for the summertime if you have oily skin, which I do. But right now, it's not giving me what I need. So, I'm gonna spray my face and then attempt to move this around. It dries down really quick, y'all. So, if you get this concealer, you see that? It dries down really quick. That's why I wanted to go in with my brush first. So I'm gonna come in with my beauty blender and just smooth all of this out. Okay, so as I said, we look kind of scary but we're going, we're gonna make it happen, okay? So, after this, I take my Illamarge, Lamage, or however you say it, um, foundation. I use one pump of this. This foundation is in the shade 220. I woke up like this. And then I'm going in with L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in shade 5. 30, put it on my face as I normally would. As you can see, we're coming back to life. We are coming back to life. Do y'all see a difference? Okay. And then we're gonna go with our powder and we're gonna put our airspun powder. Ooh, be careful, it can get everywhere. We're gonna put this translucent powder where we put the concealer. Put this powder where we put the concealer. And if you have to dab the beauty blender on your hand before putting the powder on, that's good too because you don't want to put too much powder on. You just want enough. Because I put two powders on my face so we definitely don't want to look cakey it's coming together y'all just trust trust and believe so now I'm gonna take this Sasha buttercup powder and do the same thing and just dab it on top of the concealer areas like I said, I'm putting it on, I'm tapping it on my hand. This is very important to do when you're putting more than one powder on your face because you don't want to look cakey, girl. You don't want to look cakey. I tap it in and I really just want to bring more light to the middle of my face, kind of like going in a V if you see like it's kind of like a V. I don't know, it's weird. Like a triangle. Like, triangle. <laughs> so queens, I'm about to go in with my favorite shade, like I told you before. Okay, my favorite shade out of the Zulu palette. I'm getting makeup all over it. Y'all know what it is. This brown shade right here. Como si ta comita. Yeah, that's how it makes me feel. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to take my bronzing brush. And I'm going to bronze my face. I'm just going to take this and really just 
tap. It's a mixture of tapping, uh, blending, tap and blend. Tapping and blending, baby. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going on the side of my face. Forming a three. So we're starting right here. One, two, three. Okay. You want to make sure you blend the bottom because it's just not cute when, you know, the queens can see the line of demarcation. Okay. Blend your life the way. Okay. We're just blending. I love this color so much. I'll put it over my whole face. It helps when you do this face. So you know, you know it's for you. Okay, this is an optional step. Um, I have started to do this because I care more so about the seamless look of the face. I'm taking a shade that is my facial color taking another brush and i'm just putting this in the middle of kind of like in the middle of that bronzing shade just so nobody clocks me like that okay and plus the concealer and the um powder that i used before is a little bit lighter but i like a a good light under eye you know what I'm saying? It gives me life. So this is just gonna make everything kind of, yeah. It's gonna bring it all together. So I don't put three powders on my face and look at it. It's not cakey at all. Queens don't come for me. It's not cakey. <laughs> so we're just really just securing the bag we're making sure the bag won't flop period okay so we're not going to contour the nose but we will bronze it up i'm taking this fluffy brush again dipping it into my bronzer shade and going right here baby the good thing about this look, it is very affordable. We're not charging you an arm and a leg for this look. We're saying we're gonna be queens on a budget. And that's what you should always aim to be. Don't let these girls on Instagram fool you, okay? They may have money, they may not. But at the end of the day, you know what you have. So you got to work with what you have, period until you get what you want. Now, somebody. Okay, I need y'all to clap your hands right now. If you agree, comment down below, amen. Okay, I just say amen. Amen, sister, amen. Because at this point in life, I'm trying to be a baddie on a budget, for real. Okay, so I'm just looking at my face and that's something that's important. Like when you're doing your makeup, not everybody is a professional. Not everybody really knows how to do makeup like that. But what I do is I look at my face in the mirror. I look at everything and make sure that everything is blended. Everything's how I want it, you know, okay? So right now, everything looks good. I always keep a brush in my hand to blend though, whether it's blended or not. I need to just make sure. Okay, so I can't find my favorite blush, so I'm gonna go in here in the Zulu palette, and I'm gonna take a look, a teeny, a teeny bit of this pink shade. A teeny bit, okay? Just literally, like, I may wipe some of this off. Cause you're not trying to really, I don't really go hard with the blush, okay? I just, I just put something there just to do it, okay? And then, we're not done with this palette. You can really use this palette for everything, okay? We're gonna go into this shade right here. 
and use it as a highlighter. Now, girls, I tried this as a highlighter before and I was like, bless my life, highlight and bless my life. Do you see that? Do you see that? You do not have to put a lot on. It's just, I thought it was gonna show up like too pinkish. Then I go in here. It helps when you do the duck lips, so you know. And I don't really go crazy with the highlight no more. That is so 2018. We're past that queen. But I just follow, I kind of like smell, cause that's where I want it. This is a secret, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all our secret. I love using eyeshadows as highlights, as as um, a blush color because when it melts down, it melts down so seamlessly. I mean, y'all need to try this, okay? And it's cost effective. If you don't have a official blush, if you don't have an official highlighter from all these other companies, I mean, just use the eyeshadow. Use the shimmery eyeshadow that goes with your skin tone. <laughs> Ladies, use your brain. So, I'm smelling, I'm looking. I actually do like to add a little bit, like on the remnant. I don't really use a lot of highlight, but I use the remnant of the product on the brush and I put it, I go over my nose, I go over this part right here on my forehead and my chin. Just so it can be like a little glowy, a little glow. Now let's move on to the lip combo, which is the best part. Is it my favorite part? Bronzing is my favorite part, but the lips are my second favorite part. So I'm gonna take this NYX pencil <laughs> that's almost gone. It's actually an eye pencil. Um, it's in dark brown, but I use it for my lips. So for my bottom lip, I kind of overline the bottom. I overline my bottom lip, and then for my top lip, I just line it the regular way. Okay. Next, I'm going to use this soft matte lip cream by NYX in shade 14. I'm running out of this too. Your girl needs to re up. Mm. You can leave your lips like this if you want, but lately I've been feeling gloss. I feel like the matte is a little bit too serious for me right now. Just right now, okay? I love the matte lip, but we're going to put some gloss on and I am using the e.l.f. plumping gloss. This is how it looks. I still haven't taken the package off officially, but this is in shade Proline. Oh, do you see this? And it does have like a tingling sensation when you put it on, which I don't mind it. And then I'm gonna take that same um, lip plumping gloss in a different shade. It's called Mocha Twist. And these uh, lip glosses are like six, $7 and it's really good quality. Don't sleep on e.l.f., okay? That's what one message that I got for you. Do not sleep on e.l.f. because e.l.f. really has some good products out. Like the e.l.f. concealer, 
the camo concealer this is good quality queen this is good quality i'm letting you know it's six dollars at walmart at any drugstore like queen don't sleep on it that's all i gotta say because i was sleeping on elf i was like, like uh, i mean i want to be a queen on a budget a daddy on a budget but i'm not trying to go there okay because elf to me was known to have like cheap stuff but baby they upgraded to affordable good quality stuff and I, this video is not sponsored this is becoming one of my favorite concealers because i have oily skin and it just dries down matte the only thing that i don't like about the concealer is it's hard to move around you know whenever it does dry down because it dries down really fa fast yeah so don't sleep on elf and don't sleep on this look because your girl is looking good i always forget to put mascara on my bottom lash line i don't really want to put any eyeshadow on my bottom lash line today because i just don't I don't know why I open my mouth whenever I do this, but it's just inevitable. Sometimes you gotta make them ugly faces to get the right angle, okay? So my face is looking really dry right now. First, I'm gonna use the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. I literally use this for everything. I love the smell of it. This is a must have, period. So I have everything dry down. So I let that dry down. Feel free to sing a song. <laughs> I don't have a fan. So listen, I was on a plane with Dwayne. You can call me with me. I go to him, man. Who? Listen, I'm the baddest in the school, the baddest in the game. Hey, excuse me, honey, but nobody's in my lane. Nobody's in my lane. Y'all, I'm a good bro. Okay, and then I use the Elf. I promise this video is not sponsored, but I use the I use the Elf setting spray. Girl, I tried the Fix Plus. I tried the Mag Fix Plus. I tried everything else, but this setting spray is just get it just. It just does what I need it to do, okay? It keeps everything where it needs to be. I don't like it too close because it really does mattify your makeup. And then one last time, I'm gonna go in with this spray. Oh, let me show y'all another trick that I do sometimes when I remember. I'm just take this beauty blender, spray it. So the secret is just before, just before your makeup dries down, pat your makeup in with a beauty blender. It's gonna give it a skin-like effect. Just lightly do this part because you don't want your makeup to like be blotted on your face and make sure your face is practically dry because if it's not this is not gonna work and your makeup is going to mess up like you don't want to do this whenever your face is soaking wet you just do it whenever your face is practically dry all right all right, you guys, this is the finished look. How do y'all like it? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love this look. It's a natural glam. Like, what girl doesn't need that in their lives? Period. You can go to the store. You can go out with your friends. You can, you can go see your mans, okay? You can go see your mans with this look. It is a simple look to do with affordable products. It's a win-win, queen. A win-win, if you know what I'm saying. All right? So, yeah, let me know how you felt about this look. Uh, would you change anything? Would you tweak anything? Or would you keep everything the same? Uh, 
your girl needs to know. All right, I'm ending this video, but don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. It'll be tagged below in the description box. And subscribe. It's free 99. It's free. Support your girl. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. And be blessed. Stay encouraged. And don't forget to be unapologetic with your wave. Bye. See you in the next video. <laughs>